Wow, you all. So today, August 31st, 2022, on Zav Girls Live, Jared from AWP went up on panel. Some of the things he had to say have truly blown my mind, and I'd like to share some of that with you. Let's start with some things everyone has been wanting to know and his clarification on these speculations. Then we're going to discuss what Jared had to say about what the tow truck driver Nick encountered. So first things first, they do not know if her cell phone was found inside of the car. So that's still a mystery. Also, he said 60 to 70% of vehicles they find are upside down. So that in itself is not surprising. However, let's get to some of the shocking statements. Jared said they have two other videos to release should they be able to do so based on where the investigation leads. This includes a full uncut interview with the tow truck driver and his girlfriend. Jared said that both are credible people that tracked them down when they saw AWP pulled off at Best Buy in Reno, Nevada. It was this tip that led them to search Boca first, and they have no doubt that was her last known location. AWP called a detective immediately after speaking with Nick, the tow truck driver. The detective had not heard the story before, and Jared said it could have been lack of communication between so many agencies or possibly one of the many tips that the detectives had not yet gotten to go over. That's very plausible. Jared said the entire interview that they have not released is basically jaw-dropping. Kylie was actually located in the very back of the car, not the back seat. We're talking basically the trunk of the vehicle, if you will. Because the windows were down, three of them, air wouldn't have trapped. The car would have sunk very quickly. The dash cam footage from the tow truck has been locked down from the company that owns the tow truck and law enforcement is aware of its existence. The tow truck driver thought the encounter was so odd that he basically drove down the road, pulled over, and immediately called his girlfriend, whom is a nurse. The girlfriend remembers the day very clearly because it was her dad's birthday. And yes, it was Saturday, August 6th, around 11 a.m. to noon, when this encounter occurred, the day after the party. Kylie's car was in neutral. The tow truck driver positively identified the male at the scene. He wouldn't, Jared meaning, Jared would not comment on the positive ID of Kylie. Now, if you watch AWP's uh, original video they put out this morning, you'll know that the guy described looks a whole lot like the guy on your left. Jared says that if you think about the two people moving around the vehicle, it could be more than meets the eye and to form your own conclusion. With all that said, this is my opinion and my opinion only, but I'm going to share it. I think the two people that Nick the tow truck driver encountered was Jagger and Kate. And Kylie was already in the back of the vehicle. Again, that is only my opinion. I pray that I'm wrong. I pray that this is absolutely not foul play and it was just an accident. But guys, I'm just not seeing any more. And I did originally. I'm not seeing any more how this is an accident. Not one bit. So I was just like, okay, be safe. Don't like do anything stupid. He says he complained about his day and she listened. At 10.30, she responded to what I was saying and just said, oh, I'm sorry that you're going through that. And that was the last night I heard from her. Kylie's close friend Kate Kuno says they spent the afternoon together on Friday, just hours before she disappeared. The day of the party, I hung out with her. We made creme brulee. She was, I mean, everything was normal. I don't think she ran away or anything. I mean, I would have noticed if something was slightly off. I definitely feel like that in this current situation that she's safe. I don't know where she is. We don't have anything to go off of at this point, but I fully believe that she's alive and well, and I fully believe that the two of us, three of us, or other people are going to bring her home safe. 
Thank you for watching. I appreciate it if you give the video a like, comment, subscribe. I love to see your comments below the video and I do my best to respond to as many as I can.